We know that your chronic UTI diagnosis and treatment relies on specific counts of white blood cells and epithelial cells in an immediately fresh, unspun, unstained urine sample. Many clinical pathology labs in Australia are refusing to perform this test because they say it is labor intensive, it needs a automated cell counter, and they just don't have the legal certification. How do you manage patients who can't access microscopy testing technique? I, I, thanks for that question. It's a lovely question. First of all, we don't diagnose urine infection on a certain count. We diagnose urine infection exclusively on the clinical history, the symptoms and the signs. That's when we diagnose it. Now, why do we do the urine microscopy? We do the urine, urine microscopy because we're seeking a pathological signal in the urine that we can then plot on a graph as we treat the patient, because we're going to scrutinize that graph obsessively to see that it's going in the right direction. So our white cell count and the epithelial cell count don't really serve a diagnostic purpose. They're there to guide us as the treatment continues. And in fact, during lockdown, we've learned to, to use these, these cool-to-counter automated counts from various laboratories, and we can winkle out some information on it. We can achieve a plot that is of some help. But the, 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 the thing is that where this got muddled was that we were attacking the concept that you do a test and if it's negative, they haven't got a urine infection. And so it was like they did a dip tech, dipstick test, negative, you haven't got an infection. Culture, negative, you haven't got an infection. Automated urine microscopy, no white cells, you haven't got an infection. That's what we were attacking. And so the, 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 the idea that the microscopy was being used as a diagnostic tool got stuck in our system a bit. But in fact, that we, and on top of that, the politics was so nightmarish and so incredibly difficult. It, it, it really was, was almost impossible for us to say, look, you diagnose it on the symptoms. Now, other people have published similar data and it's, 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 it's you know, we've been um, uh, um, exonerated and, and, and our, our data have been corroborated. So you diagnose on the, on the symptoms. Now, yeah, I know all about that, that those things about we haven't got the kit, we haven't got the time, we don't know how to do it, and God knows what else. So we're answering that. We're going to we're developing at the moment a robotic microscope using artificial intelligence. And and frankly, it's it's the star of our lab work at the moment. Harry Horsley and I meet on video once a week and we almost weep with emotion as we look over the data coming out of our robotic microscopy. And uh, we, we, we know exactly where we're going and we're, we're going to produce in the end uh, a system that can do the microscopy for everybody you, and interpret it using artificial intelligence and produce the vital plots that you need to see that the treatment that you're using is working. Does that answer the question? Yeah, it really does. 